So how can you apply decals into uh, models? I'll show you, There's again, there's multiple ways that you can do this, but I'll show you a very quick one here. Uh, I have two models here, so we're gonna start with the cube. Now for the decals, this is sort of like our library. There's over 150 of these um, in here. And these are saved as PNG. So whenever I make them in Photoshop, right, I th there's no background, right? So I, I save them up like this as PNGs because PNGs saves the opacity aspect of the image, right? And so I save them as PNGs. Um, I'll show you a very, uh, there's a very quick uh, trip here. If you have a Photoshop like this, right, where you have them all together in pages like this, and this could work for any other type of project. Um, and there's no background on these particular pages, right? Uh, what I'll do is I will name them in the way that I want them. And you can just click them all by pressing uh, shift and clicking, right click, and then quick export as PNG. And so this will export these individual layers named after whatever name is in the layer into a folder instead of just individually going to file, save as, and save it as a PNG and all that. So uh, for PNGs, it's a very quick way to do that. Uh, but I have them saved up here on my file. And if I go back into Blender here, and I go into Shift A, Image, Mesh Plane, I'm gonna find uh, whichever I want, right? So let's say I just want, um, let's write this one here. Right now I'm not seeing any textures, so I'm gonna click over here. That way we can actually see uh, the texture of the plane. And what this does is it brings a plane and on, it creates a texture based on the image that we that we selected. So this is gonna take a little second here. There we go. So now you can see that I have a plane with all my All my decals there, right? And so this is going to be very, very similar to the trim sheet video that I made um, in the way that we are gonna extract the graphic from here, right? And so let's say I like, let's say I'm gonna use one of these. I can just either make a cut. I'm pressing Control R, make a little cut here. Let's do another cut here. This is fairly fast. I'm just gonna select that poly, duplicate it, move it. I'm gonna separate it from the main uh, page here. I'm pressing P, separate selection. Now it's two different objects. Now this one we can just hide, and now we have this, right? And so let's say I wanted to. I'm gonna put the R to you. I want to attach this to the cube here. I'm just gonna place it closer to the spot that I want it. You can scale it, you can do whatever you want in there. So let's make it, let's say I want it here. I'm gonna duplicate it just so we have an extra here. And so now, I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna put it closer here. And I'm going to add a modifier, shrink wrap. And the target is going to be our cube. So I'm gonna go to the eyedropper, select the cube. Now you're gonna see that it sort of gets attached. And if I try to move it forward, I, I can't, right? So it's gonna be stuck in there. But you're gonna see that I'm getting some like artifacts in there. And so with the offset, I'm just gonna put like 0.1, that might be too much. I can see a big gap in here. So maybe 0 0.01. That's pretty close in there. I can very fairly see a little bit of a gap there, 0 0.0. 08. This number is going to be very, very small. But now you can see that if I move it, I can actually just put it in any spot. Right? And that's how you can quickly start adding decals to an object. Now, if it was a, this is a flat object, if it was an object like this, right? Like it's round or it has some shape to it. I'm gonna do the same thing. Shrink wrap. 
like the cylinder. We'll add the same 0 0.005. Uh, let's do 0 0.01. 0 0.1. Like that but now you're gonna have a problem where it's not taking the shape of the cylinder and so what we have to do is actually add geometry or cuts into our plane so it actually is able to bend with the form of the cylinder and so I'm just gonna go into edit mode control R and just do a couple cuts like this so now you're gonna see that it's actually being able to bend And of course, with every model, it's going to be a little bit different, right? But now you can place this on the cylindrical mesh um, without worrying about being too flat. And so this is just one way, of course, that we can that we can do this, right? But this is normally the way that I would go for like um, concept art and things like that, where I don't want to go into the intricate technicalities of 3D and textures. I can just simply add the graphics on top of the model like this. And in Photoshop, if I'm going to do any Photoshop work, I can break it up if I need to or anything like that. Right. And so this is just one way that you can add the goals to your model.